Everybody is becoming a leader. Everybody is becoming a preacher. God's word and his principles are being changed to man's ways and man's ideas. And verse 32, and Jeroboam ordained a feast in the eighth month. On the fifteenth day of the month, like unto the feast that is in Judah, like unto. And he offered upon the altar, so did he in Bethel, sacrificing unto the calves that he made. Amen. A place of God's visitation. Now that very place of God is substituted by a golden calf. And he placed in Bethel the priests of the high places which he had made. Which he had made. So he offered upon altar the altar which he had made in Bethel the 15th day of the 8th month, even in the month in which he had devised of his own heart. Saints, there are many things I won't get on to all these details. But one thing we see very clearly here. He raised up a golden calf. He raised up an altar. Look at the apostasy. He brought forth a golden calf in the place of the living God of Israel. This is one, just one example of the apostasy of God's people. Wherein they forsook the living God. Who revealed his glory unto his people. He met with Jacob at that place. And when God was no longer there, they put an idol there. Listen carefully. When God's presence withdrew from there, they replaced it with a God of their own. They substituted him. We are living in the new covenant days. What we call Bethel in the Old Testament, the house of God, is the church in the new covenant. Every place of worship today is called the church. Yes or no? Every place of worship is called church today. 
And it is true that God was there at one time. When you look at the history, from the time of the Reformation under Luther, we know that God was there. But the Holy Dow or the Holy Spirit has long since been grieved and He has withdrawn. He has flown away from that place. People yet all that place, the church, and they come together in that place. People still go to that place to worship, to worship God. That's what they say. We are going to worship. But they in reality do not know what they are going there for. And we know saints of God at one time we all were part of such a system. We were part of it. But God who is rich in mercy. He brought us out of those systems. It is the mercy of God upon our lives. Those places which... Places where God was really present. God met with His people. God used the men of God to uh, revive and restore His church. But the spirit of truth has been expelled from those places. He withdrew from those places. And when the Lord withdrew himself, they replaced his presence with so many things. They replaced him by many innovative, novel and modern ideas. Oh, when we look at the church realm today, whether they are the evangelicals or the Pentecostals or even the charismatics, one thing we see that when the Holy Ghost has withdrawn, the dove of the Holy Spirit has flown away. They have substituted that with many innovative, modern, human, intellectual ideas. Listen, saints of God. I'm seeing the seeing this with my my eyes. I am seeing that in in Delhi. I am seeing that in Bangalore. I am seeing that in Chennai. If your spiritual eyes are really open to see, saints, you will begin to see what is really happening in this hour. Oh, 
The Holy Spirit has flown away. The Holy Spirit has been driven away. The soul power is now masquerading as the power of the Spirit and running the show in many places. The innovative ideas, so many new leaders are rising up, substituting all the generations. Replacing, substituting. Bethel is now not a place of meeting place with God. To make things and the place more attractive. They have all kinds of musical instruments. They have such beautiful pulpits, not this type which will break down if I give little force. They have so attractive altars. The ambience of the place that they call the sanctuary. When you enter in, they are lit with such lights that your soul man will be drawn not to God, Yes. Saints of God, all these things please the soul, and the soul is gratified. Listen, dear brothers and sisters. And this is what many want today. They cannot meet with the living God who will strip them of the flesh and the self. They do not want to meet with that God anymore in the worship. Saints of God. This is what we see on one side. And a true child of God who is worship hungry who wants to meet with Christ who wants to worship Christ? Who wants to encounter Jesus Christ in his life? That person will say like Mary of old, when she came to the tomb where Jesus Christ was buried, listen carefully. She 
she came to meet with the Lord there. And this is what she said unto the angel of the Lord there when she met. You know what she said? She said, they have taken away my Lord. I know not where they have laid him. That is what a true hungry soul would say when such a hungry soul will come into the house of God. Where have they taken my Jesus away? Where have they laid him? I am hungry for him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Saints, that is how hungry we ought to be when we gather in the house of God. Where have they taken my Lord? Where they have they taken away my Lord? I know not where they have laid him. Listen, saints of God. Now let us turn the light on us. We have no sanctuary with such tremendous ambience and lights and We may be gathering in a schoolroom. For we strive as one man and destroy the enemy. And you cleanse the church from all wrong. Like a weeping Jesus' arms, you strive the Pharisees. With one blow, he shall bring ungodly down. See the sun, see the sun, see him just the church right before our eyes. See his love, see his love, that the sun is storing right before our eyes. That the sun. The buyers will be left, nor sellers will be there in the church that Jesus Christ does build. The thieves and hypocrites shall be judged by the sun, and the church shall be purged from their mouth. See the sun, see the sun. Just the church right before our eyes. See his love, see his love. That the sun restored right before our eyes. See the sun, see the sun. See him just the church right before our eyes. See the love, see his love, see the sun restored right before our eyes, that the sun restored right before our eyes, that the sun